On April 12th, English students from the Stafford campus traveled to the Borders Bookstore on Kirby Road to participate in an open mic poetry reading. Professor Helen Jackson describes the event. This event takes place um, the second Tuesday of every month. This is the first time that our group has actually come out um, for an open mic and it was absolutely wonderful. We'll have another open mic um, at the Stafford campus actually uh, the week before finals, but we'll get you information on that. But this was a great venue for the creative writing students to come out and read their work in front of a live audience. Inspiration for the works came from a variety of sources, including a college student classic, Channel Surfing. What inspired me is staying up, staying up late and watching TV. That's where I get all my inspirations. All I do is flip channels and they'll click in just by the first second. Okay, inspiration. Now my thing is, it got to be real late at night, watch TV, and I get the mood in, get the mood in. I start writing, and I write like this. I write real quick, and when I read it, it'd be like three pages done. Go back, edit some stuff, you know, da da da, and it's a poem slash story. The students demonstrated a keen awareness of the power of the poetic word. I think poetry, like every form of art, has a great impact in being able to change and alter people's perspective by drawing them in to drawing them in by you know, just different aspects within themselves that they can relate to. And with poetry, it's a lot of it is you know spoken word that different people have different perceptions of things and different perceptions can relate to a certain audience and that audience can definitely learn something new. I think it's probably the highest art form. I think that like it, you can really learn, you could hear from a person's soul like from poetry. It's their, from their words I think. And you can hear that, it, I think it could change people. I think it can. Jackson hopes to shape that basic awareness of poetry's power into an appreciation of the tools available to the poet. Well, first of all, um, their first assignment is a free write. Um, a lot of students come into creative writing and they think they can write really, really well because they can rhyme. And so the first one is a free write and I just let them go for it. The writings after that are really structured. I have them write villanelles, I have them write sonnets, um, and so I, I introduce them to uh, a more constricted form of writing and that pushes them out of their comfort zone. But the environment that I create in my classroom is, the environment is such that it, it inspires them to be creative, to be open, to be free uh, with their writings. Her students heard the message loud and clear. I learned that uh, different forms of poetry are greatly appreciated. There's not a specific format to write them in, which is, which is fantastic and liberating. Uh, I learned that there's so many different perspectives that you can take in poetry and write all sorts of pieces that are definitely raw and real. Awesome. Automatically, when I saw creative writing, I was like, man, this is something I got to try. And um, the class is just so open, and it's like a big family because we all connect through each other's writing and just listen to people and their stories and their poems. And we're one big family, and it's so much fun because you get to hear different perspectives and outlooks on everything. For more information about creative writing at HCC Southwest, visit www.hccs.edu. Click on Southwest College, then Academics, then English. For HCC Beat, I'm Stacy Hawkins.